officially live and my mic is working this time so that's a solid start I'm going to give this like a couple seconds I'm actually gonna post to my uh, I'm actually gonna post a photo on Facebook while I wait for people to get in here open live on YouTube now Link on my timeline. Alright, cool. Let me get rid of it off my news feed and just put it on my story. Cool. Alright, let's see if anybody's in here yet. We are still waiting. In just a moment here, I will go ahead and just pick it up anyway for the sake of the replay. How long have we been going? It hasn't been more than one minute. Okay, cool. We will wait like another minute. Okay. We do have somebody in here. Great. <laughs> Welcome. All right. I've got my email list still hasn't seen the email I sent. I sent it like two seconds ago. But I might have to go ahead and uh, start this off. I'm going to set a timer so that I can remind everyone every 15 or so minutes why we're all here and to make sure that. Uh... All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, one thing I want to start, like uh, some housekeeping stuff, I recently launched a new experiment slash initiative to get. Uh, mentees to send their copy to me if you want me to break down some of your copy I, I, I just started this yesterday like I've been telling everybody no so if I've told you no <laughs> know that I've changed my mind I'll look at your copy now and if you want to do that you can go to kylethewriter.com uh, forward slash submit copy which should be in the description and I'll put it in the chat here you can go there and submit copy to me and I'll review it for you uh, and so what we're going to do today, I want to do something a little different instead of just trying to like uh, look at promos and write down the same thing over and over and over, which, you know, is a good process to kind of get you in the habit of learning the best pieces of, you know, copywriting and, and how and what to look for. Uh, but I just re re am reading a book by Blair, Warren, by Blair Warren called The Forbidden Keys to Persuasion, right? And inside the book, he mentions six hidden addictions that are like, basic to human nature and I thought wow that's actually pretty powerful stuff I think that's something that seems relevant in all the copywriting promos that I've seen and that these lessons and addictions even tie into the things that I say we should be looking for in copywriting and sales promos so what I'm gonna do is try to be cognizant of these things these seven addictions people need to feel needed uh, when in, when aware of an impasse people will do anything for hope uh, people need a scapegoat as someone to blame, a villain. People need to be noticed and feel understood. People need to know things others don't know, so secret information. Uh, people need to feel that they are right. And people need to feel a sense of power. That means they have like some autonomy in their decision making. Alright, so this is Dark Trades, which is, this is just a promo I pulled out from like, I, I had for a long time, and I think it's by Oxford. Uh... As soon as you get momentum alert subscriber, but I think this is an Oxford Club promo. Yeah, the Oxford Club. And I haven't, I might have break, broken this promo down like a zillion years ago, but um, even though it was a zillion years ago, I actually don't remember anything about this one. So I'm going to go back, look it over again, and for those of you just joining us, we're going to be trying to pay attention to these six, no, seven hidden addictions that came from uh, Forbidden Keys to Persuasion by Blair Warren. And Blair Warren's like one of the most underrated persuasion guys out there. Like nobody talks about this dude. Or they don't talk about him nearly as much as they should. He's like a genius. All right, cool. So uh, let's see, we go out here. Oh, that's my email. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we'll still use like the classic things that we look for when we're evaluating copy. So um, we'll start, whoops. Go ahead and, can I zoom in here? All right, too much zooming. 
And what we want to do is check out the headline. And in the headline, we're going to be looking for the four U's. Uh, I want to see if it's urgent, useful, ultra specific, and um, unique. And unique's pretty much like I've, I've isolated it down to like almost all copywriting hinges on something being new and novel and unique. I mean, I'm not like the genius that figured that out, but I think more than anything else that I've seen while since I started this YouTube channel, the thing that I keep repeating the most is it has to be brand new. It has to be new and novel, new and novel, new and novel, which is kind of a benefit of having this YouTube channel to begin with is I, I'm starting to see those things myself. All right, so revealed. That makes it unique. It's new. The massive anonymous trades behind every major stock move. Dark trades. Bunch of gains in 79 days, 678, 686, 670, 541 days, 769 days. So this is useful, right? This is all useful information. Here's how to profit. That's useful. From tomorrow's dark trade. Okay, so there's urgent. And collect 80,100 in a matter of days. So this is all useful. All this stuff here is, we're going to check the useful box, right? Urgent. Yeah, they did that by sneakily saying tomorrow's dark trade. Like, basically, this is going down tomorrow. So if you aren't, like, paying attention or aware, you should be paying attention. Ultra specific. Yeah, man, they listed, like, eight gains, six gains, down to the uh, tenth decimal place, right? 663.7%, all right? So very specific. Is it unique? Uh, yeah. I'm going to say it is unique because right away they open with revealed. Anytime you open with new, revolutionary, revealed, anything like that, you've got um, newness. <laughs> you got some uniqueness in there. It's built in to that word. And then we've got anonymous trades. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to come back to that one. That, that, that's one of those secret things of persuasion. So I think uh, forbidden keys of persuasion here. So... What can we tick off here already, just in the headline? People need to, uh, where is it? One of the one was secret information. People need to know things others aren't supposed to know. So it's revealed. It's like secret information. It's called dark trades. So we're really playing up this hidden addiction number five, secret knowledge. People need to know things others don't know or they aren't supposed to know. So cool. We're kind of seeing that already right here in the headline. The rest of this, I guess, um, when aware of an impasse, perhaps our reader is already struggling with their finances, which we anticipate that they are usually. So we'll do anything to gain a sense of hope. So now we have a sense of hope from this, right? This is giving us some hope because these are the anonymous trades behind every major stock move. So it's like, oh, if that's, that's why I keep failing in the stock market, right? Because I didn't know about these anonymous trades behind every move. I'm just hearing about this for the first time. All right, let's go ahead and jump into Clayton Make Pieces Checklist. This is what we do next, Clayton. And the first thing we want to do is grab the eyeballs. All right, I'm going to grab them by the eyeballs. And he has three steps for this. Flag your ideal prospect. Make a big promise. Let's see what else we got going on. What's the other thing? Oh, stoke curiosity. Cool, cool. All right, let's go up and see if he does it, man. Grab eyeballs. Dark trades. That's pretty curious. Uh, I, I want to know what these anonymous things behind every stock move are. So I'm going to say curiosity is done. Big promise. Oh, hell yeah. They're killing it in this headline. Collect $80,000 in a matter of days. Profit from tomorrow's dark trade. Yes, that's a big promise. Um, ideal prospect, they're basically telling you you can make money. So we know our prospect is a dude who's looking to make money fast. We've, we've told him exactly what he wants to hear. Uh, so we'll, we'll see our big promises right there. Um, total curiosity and intrigue. I wish I could get rid of this stupid thing on top. Get rid of it. Go away. All right. Curiosity and intrigue is like a check. Check. All right. So we're good there. The next thing they're supposed to do, moving out of this, and this is why 
I love this template, the Clayton Makepeace one. So that's step one, right? Grab them by the eyeballs. Step two, expand upon your headline. Step three, <clears throat> establish credibility to let them know that even though you are saying all this stuff, like, who are you to say all this stuff? Like, no, no, you should listen to me. I know what I'm talking about for reals, y'all. I'm seriously. Okay? So that's established credibility. Number four is going to be um, bribe. You want to bribe this dude to read this. All right, so we're going to be moving out of... So this is the four U's are just for your headline. Okay? These four U's we just discussed, which let me get myself out of the way. Four U's, that's like entirely pretty much... The headline or like the deck copy that comes immediately beneath it um, and then the Clayton make piece thing gives us like some guidelines on how we proceed from the headline and onward so dear reader oh wait wait I have a Kyle checklist now I just made this up uh, a couple couple weeks ago <clears throat> and with let me go down here this is gonna be like a, a, a prevailing sort of checklist okay so this is the Kyle checklist and that is that it has to be new, has to be safe, has to be, we're going to say new and only. And then it has to be safe, has to be big, fast gains. <laughs> What's the other thing that I say? It's a uh, new and novel way to make money fast. So I think maybe fast? Easy. No, no, easy. Easy was the other one. Okay. Okay, so these are my buzzwords for now until I figure out better buzzwords to capture. I want one word to capture this whole thing. So new and only, uh, safe, meaning that like there's no risk, it's risk-free, big and fast, means you get the thing that you need very quickly and it's a big reward. Like, it's not like you make $5 in 10 minutes, you make $5,000 in 10 minutes. Like, that's what you gotta see in this joker. All right, cool. And the reason I brought that up is because immediately they jump into the new. They immediately let you know that this is unique AF. So I love that. I think that's like one of the most crucial things in copy. Is they have to, you cannot, your writer, your writer, your reader can never feel like they know what you're talking about. They can never feel like they can categorize what you're saying because if they can file it away in their brain as I've heard this before, they're going to stop reading immediately because they've already seen this advertisement. They've already heard about that product. They don't need another one of those. So they have to be left curious like 99% of the promo. All right, so behind the scenes in a back channel of the financial world. Okay, so already I need to create a new color for our hidden. Blue will probably work behind the scenes. So this is a hidden persuasion thing, right? I'm only on the second line. So there's so many little elements that play in here. So this is again playing up persuasion, hidden addiction number five. People need to know things that others don't or that they're not supposed to know. And I feel like this is already the direction this whole promo is going to be running in. All right, so sorry to keep stopping, but all this stuff's fairly important. All right, behind the scenes in a back channel of the financial world, massive anonymous trades that have a predictable, so they're safe, right? Predictable impact on the stock market are now being placed. I call them dark trades because they take place in a hidden market. I'm going to have to figure out a way to quickly switch colors. <laughs> One that regular investors are locked out of. So regular investors are locked out. This is information that nobody else knows about or has even any access to. These dark trades occur 24 hours a day. More than 229 billion is traded in a week there. And most importantly, you can use them to predict several days in advance which stocks are about to soar. So that's pretty useful, right? There's a big promise. Uh, so does this... Go back to our Clayton make piece. Does this expand upon our headline? Yeah, because the headline is about dark trades. And we've already kind of learned a little bit about dark trades. So this is... <laughs> headline. All right, cool. So we're doing a good job so far. <laughs> we This writer's done a really good job so far. These dark trades occur 24 hours a day. More than 229 billion is traded there a week. Let me show you what I mean. So here comes the proof, right? Uh, here's a dark trade confirmation ticket of Edwards Life Sciences from early February of 2016. Okay, 
So this is a confirmation ticket. Dark trade code. Okay. Now this might be difficult for most people to decode. It's designed that way. But to uh, trained professional, that ticket reveals unusual dark trade activity, massive sums of money being traded in Edwards Life Sciences. It's easier to visualize using a chart. Let's take a look at this. See where the see when dark trade activity peaked. This chart shows that very large anonymous trades were placed on the dark market for Edwards Life Sciences. Okay, let's take a moment because I always, I don't always, but I never really stop and talk about design or graphics. But this is one of those graphics where you you can only have like one graphical element in a graph or chart or any sort of like design element of your promo. And on this one, we see a massive mountain <laughs> and then the word dark trades. Okay, so then you see it drop and kind of simmer down here. Uh, I don't know what it necessarily represents yet, but I get it. During dark trades, monster spike, right? I can, I can process that. So that's what this whole thing is about right here. If your graphic has like two arrows, like one there and then like one over here, it's too complicated, man. No, I'm, I'm serious too. Like you can't, it's got to be like so stupid simple uh, or else it will not work. Uh, all right, cool. So we'll move on. Now, let's overlay this dark trade chart with the price chart in green from the regular market to see what happened next. The black chart represents the dark trade. Okay, so we've already seen that chart. We already kind of have that conceptualized. The green chart represents the stock price. Okay. So that's my 15-minute timer. We're, we're eating up a lot of time. If you're here enjoying this content, please hit the like button. Also be a subscriber to my YouTube channel. I'd like that very much. And if you'd like to get on my daily email list, that is uh, at my website, kylethewriter.com. You can get this swipe that I'm creating here and now at this link that I'm posting in the chat. Uh, but yeah, you'll get access to this swipe, like all my notes and everything, and daily emails from yours truly. So please do that. And then also post this video to your, your, your own Facebook or something like that. That'd be cool. Uh, okay, so the green, all right, black chart represents dark trade, market activity. Green chart represents the stocks price in the regular stock market. In the regular stock market, so it's different. As you can see, once the dark trades were placed, the price shot up. In this case, on the New York Stock Exchange. But, and this is the most important part, it jumped after the dark trades took place. Once these dark trades are in place, you move quickly. We call it shadowing the trade because you are essentially following what Wall Street insiders in this market are doing. This allows you to make a special type of shadow trade that maximizes potential gains. For Edward Life Sciences, as you saw the dark trades taking place, you could have used a shadow trade on the regular market to capture 536% gain in just 109 days. That's $53,600 in pure profit on a $10,000 investment. Uh, Phil says, speaking of the chart, what's the general idea with skipping out on numbers in charts? I get that it's largely for simplicity, but lacking numbers really tickles my suspicion. Okay, so maybe that's because we hadn't quite gotten to these, but you will see uh, we got numbers here now. So maybe like this first one, this first one is just laying the groundwork so that you can understand the concept, I guess, you know? Like, here's what dark trades look like. And then now we can see that here's what stocks do. So maybe that answers your question. But yeah, so you can see, bam, 536% in 109 days. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the copy a little bit. I already know that this is a momentum thing. Uh, basically, when you see a bunch of volume, you get a bunch of money. This is probably like the best way I've seen someone lay down how volume works. And they did it by calling it dark trades. And I really like that idea. And that's basically what copywriting is because, uh, you know, we've heard, we, we know what volume trading is sometimes. If you, if you know anything about the stock market, it's like if you have a bunch of people buying, the price goes up. That's really all that means. Or if you have a bunch of people selling, the price goes down. So it's, a, it's not a new and novel concept, right? Everyone's heard of that. But dark trades... Nobody's ever heard of dark trades. What the hell is a dark trade? Um, it's just it's just volume, it looks like. I mean, that's off the second page. And uh, this is the smart way to create a new idea out of something that's very bleh, you know. 
Okay, moving along. Uh, it jumped after the dark trades took place. This is going to give you the idea that this is a predictable thing, right? Uh, that's 53600 in pure profit on a $10,000 investment. Uh, now, I like this. I like this setup because I don't think this is a very large gain, uh, $53,000. Like, uh, basically, what, I, what it looks like they're doing is they're trying to make what is a pretty regular gain look uh, fantastic. So what they did is they put the potential payout before telling you, but it's got to be $10,000. So uh, when you have a smaller gain, uh, place payout before large investment. Okay, so that's kind of a cool tactic there that I just picked up from this. That's why you break down promos. Uh, that's why when someone commented on my last video that, wow, you come up with these ideas so fast. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I spend hours reading these and then writing these little notes, and then I just remember that idea on the next one I watch. So that's that's where I get these ideas. Uh, okay, cool. So yeah, and a lot of times these system promos, you gotta like, especially nowadays, people are just spoiled with our copywriting. <laughs> they they expect to see like ten thousand percent gains on everything. All right, uh, it's incredibly easy. So let's get back to pen mode and talk about how easy this is, right? It's incredibly easy to collect big paydays if you know how to decode these trades. So that's an open loop. Like, okay, well, how do I do it? First, the dark trade activity in black takes off in this dark market. Then in the days following, the price in green rises in the regular stock market. By spotting these dark trades, you can identify tomorrow's Wall Street darlings today. Here's another example. In November of 2015, dark trade activity started spiking in Electromed. All right, cool. So really basic thing to grasp there nothing special it reached critical peak on February 1 if you knew about this activity you could have entered a trade on the regular market that same day and then watched your electromed position quickly race up and hand you a 212 percent gain in just 35 days okay that's a pretty quick gain but again it's not a uh, phenomenal gain it's not like outlandish so uh, boom you got the arrow pointing straight up, kind of make it look like a really big deal. Uh, let's look at another example with Navistar International. You can see dark trade volume suddenly peaked in March and April of 2016. Okay, another big mountain dark trade. And less than seven months later, on September 21st, you could have collected 164% gain following this activity. There are dark trades building up right now in another stock. And I'll share more details on the situation in a moment. It could hand you 80,100 over the coming weeks, but let's keep going because the dark market where these trades take place never sleeps. Okay, let's talk about what's going on here. Um, this is called, or what I call, today's op. Okay, and that's a, just an open loop. And with the open loop here, basically we're saying, you know, um, I'm going to tell you something later <laughs> like they just say something like really like here's something that you can get uh today but we'll talk about that after i talk about 40 pages of copy uh so this one is a this is a decent game 212 in 35 days they didn't reframe it i guess this is their one reframe is the image they didn't do a lot of reframing in this uh so cool that's cool and then this one now check out what they did here 164 percent in 200 days almost so Basically, you own you just a little over double. Or you you kind of come close, like tripling your money, maybe, uh, in two hundred days. So it takes you a year. It's not a big fast gain, right? And what did we say at the beginning? It has to be uh, new, safe, big and fast, and easy. Okay, but it's not big and fast. So look how they're kind of trying to uh, guide your attention away from that. You could have collected one hundred sixty-four percent following this activity. They didn't. They didn't tell you in the copy where the guy was probably reading it on a video that it took that long. Okay. So uh, here's your promise. And I bet you this pops up quite a bit. Oh, you know what else? I got something else to mention. This is a bribe. So we were talking earlier about Clayton says you got to bribe him to read this. this. This is your bribe. It's like, hey, I'll show you this stuff. All right, so maybe this is kind of a 
expand the headline, establish cred, and then bribe them. So this might give you like a little bit of a what you'd call credibility that you know all this stuff and you've seen it and you're showing proof. That's kind of got some built-in credibility that you know that. But then there's your bribe. Moving along, imagine knowing what's going to happen next week in the stock market. Okay, I can dig that. My name is David Bauman. So we got the, the guru's intro already. I spent months figuring out how these dark trades work to bring you the details behind this $80,100 opportunity. Today, for the first time, I'm going to expose all the dark trade secrets. All right. All the dark trade secrets I've learned from my investigation. So there, there's your hidden addiction. People need to know things that others don't. I feel like uh, some of these addiction things are more interpersonal. Like, people need to feel needed. I don't know how you get that in copy. Be like, <laughs> I need you to sign up for this newsletter now. Uh, people will do anything for a sense of hope. I think that kind of plays throughout the, the promo. Is like, I need money now, so I'll do anything for some hope. I'll, I'll read or listen to anything. I need money. Uh, they need a scapegoat. Usually that's Wall Street. I'm still looking for that. People need to feel understood. He isn't really related to the person. Uh, this is the one they keep coming back to. They need to know things others don't. People need to be right. And people need to feel a sense of power. This will come in the offer section. He says, you need to make a decision. That's what they always do there. During my career, I've interviewed billionaires such as Mark Cuban. Here's your credibility. This is this whole section will be credibility. Uh, I've interviewed billionaires such as Mark Cuban, Rich Davos, Davos, Davos. I've met with dozens of legendary investors like John Henry and Rick Rule. Cred, 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 cred. I've pressed them to reveal exactly how they've made their millions. But this might be the biggest profit opportunity I've uncovered as the chief media analyst of the Oxford Club. Um, so this is kind of one of those like new, it's the only place you can find this. To put it simply, dark trades are massive anonymous investments that take place off market. Away from the spotlights of NASDAQ, Dow Jones, and New York Stock Exchange. Few investors know anything about this secret. And those who do are generally unwilling to talk about it. Okay, so we're right there. Yeah, we, we kind of know what their, their main gun is now. Few investors know anything about this secret. That's their thing. Nobody knows. Those who do are generally unwilling to talk about it. But during my investigation, I was fortunate enough to track down one very successful former Wall Street money manager who was willing to show me how it works. In a closed door gathering of 100 or so high-level investors, I asked him to tell me about these dark trades. And I can't believe what he said. He put it simply, imagine knowing today what's going to happen next week in the stock market. That's what we're talking about here. Trades in this dark market, dark market can predict several days in advance which stocks are about to soar in the regular stock market. Now I'm starting to doubt that this is momentum anymore. Now I'm starting to wonder, like, okay, what's the uh, what's the other market? Why do they keep saying that? Maybe I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, feeling needed. Okay, here's a cool comment. Feeling needed might be exploited by an appeal to duty as a parent, grandparent towards their children. Okay, that's a cool angle or a cool idea to mention there because we often do, especially more recently, in our promos, we often write a section, imagine how your uh, family will feel knowing that you've got them taken care of for the rest of their life. You've got money for generations. You can provide. You no longer have to worry about where uh, the money's going to come from to pay the bills this month. That kind of thing. All right, cool. Moving along. But I wanted to see for myself how and if this technique really worked. After the conference was over, I walked up to the gentleman and asked for more. I asked if he could actually prove that these dark trades consistently predict big gains on the traditional stock market. So, hours after the meeting, I checked on the ticker symbols of four stocks. Okay, cool. Pattern is clear, and the gains are incredible. So, you've got all this proof, right? So, basically, this predictive thing, when you say, and he put it in all caps too, right? This is all safe. Like, you can predict what's coming up. So it's safe for you to put your money and your hope into this. And maybe that's maybe that's what anything that says safe is. 
maybe that's the uh, hidden addiction there. Anytime they mention how safe or predictable something is, we want to feel that hope that we can actually be saved by this. At the same time, though, all those green things kind of trigger hope. Four trades, $417,600 in pure profit. Shutterstock was first. In case you don't know, Shutterstock is a company that provides an online marketplace for professional images and videos. Now take a look at this. It's a chart of dark trade volume in Shutterstock. You can clearly see the spike in activity between October 21st and December 8th, 2012. Now, while this was happening, 99.99% .99 of regular investors had no way of detecting this activity. Secret. They're killing it, man. And I think also, uh, when I mark up other promos, I would do this with the green light. I would say uh, this would be one of those, I'd call it only. I'd call it an only thing. You can only get this knowledge here. Uh, and it, it, that kind of that figures into my new category. It's really hard for me to categorize this stuff. But, uh, yeah, I would call this only if you've got like other PDFs that I did. But it also works in that secret thing. But if you had somehow known about these dart trades, you could have made a massive profit. Pew! Look at all that money. 300% in 70 days. Just weeks after these dart trades were placed, the price on the regular market started a rapid rise. The green line shows you could have so scored a 301% profit as the price ran up. That's $30,000 on a $10,000 investment. Again, like, that's... That's $300 on a $100 investment. That's not like huge or amazing or incredible, but by making the number big, putting that anchor first of $30,000, that makes it seem like a lot bigger deal. So it's a really good use of copy. Uh, let's see. So far, let's see, I'm going to read some comments. <laughs> so far, this makes me think they're looking at Google search volume about a company or something, but that's likely a misunderstanding on my part. The more attention goes to a company, the more money flows there. Perhaps some sort of hiring volume or buyout investment offer tracking. That's a good question. I'm not sure. The point is, they've made their case, right? Oh yeah, the, the alarm means, uh, like the video, <laughs> sign up to my email list and get this PDF on the swipe file and uh, share this on your Facebook and Twitter and your Google Plus and Pinterest. Uh, yeah. Is there anything else I missed? I'm supposed to pitch? Oh, yeah, and if you want to send in a copy for me to review, you can go to uh, kylethewriter.com forward slash submit hyphen copy, which is in the description down below if you want me to review your copy. Um, yeah, man, I'm not 100% sure what it is. They call it dark trades. They're doing a good job, man. They're doing a good job of keeping us in the dark, right? And that's the reason this stuff works. Cause I, can, I can't with 100% certainty say I know what it is and therefore I will continue to read to try to uncover clues uh, so much curiosity absolutely thrilling yeah this is really good work man I'm so and what, what makes it work is once you establish this idea that it's dark trades it's gonna follow the exact pattern of every system promo I've revealed they name a company they give you like the blurb. The way I described it before is if you Google Shutterstock, the knowledge graph on the right hand side will have basically these lines, right? It'll say a company that provides online marketplace for professional images and videos, okay? So now that they've established dark trades is a real thing and you need to know about it, now they gotta prove it, they just say here's the name of a company, okay? And then they do this, they give like the one, two lines about what the company does, and then they just show the chart. Okay, they talk about the date. That's always usually a thing. Always usually, that makes sense, right? It's what a copywriter thing to say. Always usually. Uh, and then, that's it, man. It's just a formula. But the, the, the way to be successful is to prove that dark trades exist. They're big, fast, easy, and safe. All right, let's keep pushing through here. Watch for spikes. The message here is clear. So this is a good way to say all you need to know is okay and the more I do these the more I find myself forgetting to mark uh, the the things that I'm supposed to tell you guys which is like uh, so we got four trades right so we got four pieces of proof I'm not marking my proof like I used to alright so here's proof 
and then the message is clear. Watch for dark spikes. Make a shadow trade. Okay. Make shadow trade right before the price starts soaring on the regular market over the next over the following days and weeks. Um, but the next stock he sent me was a stock in February. You can see the unusual dark trade activity. There it is. If you've been watching regular stock, you never would have noticed it was basically flat. But then bam, chart, arrow, money. But you can see what happened next. The price spiked after dark trade took place. Had you made a shadow trade, you could have pocketed 783% gain. That's 78,300 and take home profits. I like that. Take home profits on a $10,000 investment. I mean, we know it's $78,300, but then when you say take home, like, I kind of like that. I'm going to I'm going to grab that one up real quick. I'm just going to type up a little bit here. Take home profits. It's like a truism. Like, we knew you were taking it home, but whenever you say it, it just seems more, I don't know, better. Third example, so that's proof two. Third example, universal insurance holdings. You can see dark trade activity spiked on the day. Sure enough, the price went up. You got the graph. You got the arrow. You could have made more. 1100%. Uh, it's 119 thousand seven hundred profit on ten thousand dollar investment finally he gave me details on a fourth company it's proof three here's proof number four you can already see what's coming uh, mpg ingredients all you had to do was spot those trades okay you can clearly see the trade that you can clearly see the dark trades and the black spike I've shadow traded and made 1,895% gain in 117 days. That's an extraordinary 189,500 profits in the $10,000 investment. My investigation made one thing clear: if I had made, if I had made all four of these shadow trades this gentleman gave to me, I'd be sitting on 417,600 in pure profit. So I continued to follow him. In a minute, it's an open loop. I don't even know where it is yet. In a minute, I'm going to show you what he taught me and how you can follow a dark trade yourself. Subscribe. Also, open loop. Also, secret knowledge. See, there's like no one way to categorize all this stuff. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> anyway. All right, cool, cool. So uh, all you had to do was spot these trades. So let's talk about the proof points really quick. We got four pieces of proof, and one of the phrases we've got is the magic show must get better as it goes along. So you'll see here, proof number one, three hundred percent. Let's actually change the color here so we can three hundred percent gain. All right, and then here we've got. 700% <clears throat> here 1100% okay and then down here we've got 1800% or almost 1900% so 1895% so you'll notice that uh, bigger gains let's call it progression Okay, cool. All right, so here we go. We're back to the open loop. And to bribe, I'm going to show you how you can do this. I'll give you details on a single company. So there's today's op. And a lot of people aren't doing this anymore. They aren't doing the whole today we've got uh, the thing just signaled and now we've got this opportunity. And I think the reason is because we're now moving into the world of evergreens. I think people are just... It's easier, man. It's easier just to run an evergreen promo where you don't have to update this every week or month or year. I can all but guarantee this stock will climb significantly in the days ahead. Okay. Safe. And it could hand you 80100 when it does. It's your big promise, right? So when he went into bold type here, uh, he basically went back to all the things that 
you know, we must do. It needs to be safe. It needs to be big. It needs to be brand new. And it needs to be easy. Uh, <clears throat> he doesn't really hit you up with the easiness here yet. So that's kind of a cool thing to see, though. Like, I've seen a lot of the promos I've been reviewing make it seem so stupid easy to become a millionaire. Like, all you got to do is just wait for this line to cross that line and bam, $10 billion. So it's, it's, uh, it's neat to see a different promo be successful without saying like those words or going that exact route. Because it shows you, don't ha you, you can still get success with your own style and ideas, man. There's no like one way to do this stuff. The dark market revealed. Okay, so this is, you know, your, your objection is how does it work? And they're promising that they're going to reveal how it works here, but they probably won't. First, you need to know <laughs> first, you need to know more about how this incredible market works. Uh, during a follow-up meeting with this former Wall Street wizard, I asked him why this dark market even exists and why I hadn't heard about this yet. He told me that dark trades are a way for huge institutional investment firms to get special advantage when they complete what he called massive block trades. You see, elite institutional funds often manage billions of dollars. They're not like regular investors who might buy only 100 shares at a time. They're looking to buy blocks of tens of thousands, maybe even millions of shares in a very short time. So looking at this, when you see things like quote, massive block trades, or what he did earlier, he called it a shadow trade. He called these dark trades. Anytime you get one of those code names, basically that means we're talking about something super common. And they have to code name it, or else you'd be like, oh, it's that? So massive block trades probably just means big orders, like they're just buying stocks. Like, we've got to call it something so they don't think it's just a momentum trader. All right, now in the past, firms making purchases this big would run the risk of driving the stock's price. And get this, if one of these firms were to buy 2 million shares of a $10 stock, and they save 50 cents on each share, that would result in an extra million dollars pure profit. The Wall Street institutions obviously want to ensure they take home every last penny, so here's what they arranged, the birth of the dark market. Okay, this was some secret dealings, right? Not long ago, these powerful insiders decided to set up their own dark markets to buy and sell stocks. You didn't read or hear about this. They gathered discreetly behind closed doors on Wall Street and in Washington, D.C. So this is all secret stuff. And in 2007, the SEC passed Regulation NMS. Okay, so this is a uh, mechanism. is kind of like a law change, right? mechanism for how this all works. In an internal document we discovered, the Congressional Research Service wrote that it allowed trading without triggering unfavorable price movements. In short, they created a series of markets that allow them to anonymously trade massive amounts before regular investors even know what's happening. Today, no fewer than 81 different markets allow institutions to operate in stealth mode. And they're using obscure names like ATS6, EBX, Instinct X, Sigma X, and others. Okay. Um, so what they call this is, what I call this is like the discovery story. Um, so this whole thing is the discovery story. And uh, I know a guy, uh, you might have heard Jake Hoffberg, he calls this the key insight. Again, there's coming up with buzzwords for this is so difficult because you can call it 50 billion different things. Okay, so key insight. In these new markets, they can buy millions of shares of stock in a dark trade without pushing up the price or losing any profit margin. They get in on the cheap, and then only after the trade is complete do they run the price up. It's an incredible advantage for big trading firms. They get in at the best price and then enjoy profiting from the run-up. The SEC estimates more than $229 billion is traded at the dark market each week. This is a big opportunity, right? If the firms purchased all of that stock on the regular market, they would pay a higher price as volume drove up. Instead, they get it cheaper and make billions more in profits for their firm by undercutting the regular market. But here's the thing. If you're able to find out about these dark trades before, as they happen, you can enjoy a similar advantage. 
You can make a lot of money faster than you ever imagined possible by simply getting in before the stock price inevitably shoots higher. Okay, so, so this is that secret knowledge. Um, I was going to call it new, and I was also going to call it only, but I don't think it's either one of those. So, actually, this is a unique promo, man. Like, I'm having trouble, like, labeling a lot of stuff. Maybe I'm just getting lazy because I've done this so much. I'm just, like, glancing over it like I usually would if I'm reading it to myself and not to an audience. Uh, okay. And this is also, like, a really long story. Like, look, they haven't made a promise or anything. They've been talking about this story for one, two pages, three pages, and then here's, here's kind of the... Uh, Here's the benefit, right? You can make a lot of money. Take a closer look at these trading spikes we just saw in the four dark market examples we looked at. Charts for Shutterstock. So these are the same four proof. You can see that while these huge dark trades were being made, the stock was trading nearly sideways in the regular market. One thing's for certain, regular people didn't know it was about to happen, but insiders certainly did. And seemingly out of nowhere, the price suddenly left higher. And that almost always happens after a dark trade. That is not by chance, it is by design. So, And I actually really like that one because that's a great way to say something safe and predictable. Let's go ahead and grab that one, huh? Let's go ahead and grab that one right there. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Safe, predictable, guaranteed language, something like that. All right. So, not by chance, it's by design, and this is a subhead, it's by design. All right, that's the alarm. So if you're here and you have yet to um, subscribe to the channel, make sure you do that now. Throw in a like, thumbs up for you, and... Uh, what is going on here? Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Throw up the like, throw up the thumbs up, throw a subscribe button on this mother. Share this junk on your social media. That would be awesome. Uh, let's check out the comments. I'll be honest. That sounds a lot like pump and dump scheme. These stocks will blow up, makes people buy prices. Go up, promo becomes a self fulfilling prophecy. That might be just paranoid of me, though. Hmm. So you're saying like we are recommending, not we, but like the 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 whole shtick here is recommending things, getting the prices to blow up, and then dropping them. It's it's hard to say. I mean, well, I mean, obviously, the default answer is like no way, Jose, man. Like, absolutely not. And I don't think that's something that our companies would deal with, because I mean, we don't have to. Like, we don't have to play dirty to get to we have like a lot of good trading gurus and stuff so i really don't think that's the case like <laughs> i get that you you maybe you're speculating just like hey that kind of sounds shady um but the, the pump and dump thing is i just don't see agora being that sloppy like that's just so dumb they wouldn't have to do that to make a ton of money they never they never have so they probably wouldn't um also yeah no it would just it's it's like implausible um, it's a pattern you'll see repeated over and over. Um, oh yeah, also, I was still doing my pitch. I'm not saying it's malicious, but the volume subscribers you guys have might impact it, and I do realize FTC would get involved. The volume might be a thing, though. It's got, I'm pretty sure it's the volume stuff. But, uh, if you want your copy reviewed by me, um, and you're sitting there looking at me thinking, man, I wish this guy would review my copy, you can do it at this link that I'm putting in the description. KyleWriter.com forward slash submit hyphen copy. Okay, moving along. Uh, so it's by design. It's a pattern you'll see repeated over and over. Once the dark trade is complete and the money is in, the same institutional firms use every trick in the book to drive the price higher in the regular markets. Brokers call clients to push the stock. Mutual funds enter positions on the regular stock market, pushing it higher on volume. Market makers bid up the stock's price on the exchange. So this sounds like pump and dump. Analysts issue buy recommendations and release positive stories to the financial media. I'll put this bluntly. This is how Wall Street fosters its own interests and rigs the market against the individual investor. Okay, cool. So 
Yeah, that definitely sounds shady. And what we've just done is we've created a villain, right? So let's talk about the things that we were going to kind of look for. Um, people need a scapegoat. So what we've got here is the reason you're not successful is because Wall Street, the villains, all right, are rigging the game. They always, where's the word rig? Right there. If you're writing financial copy, you need to put Wall Street rigs the game somewhere in your promo. It's like, it's like, uh, it's got to be done. Okay, the other thing was people need to be right. So this also kind of, um, you're right, right? Um, looks like B. Right. Okay, because this confirms their suspicions that uh, Wall Street's a bunch of buttholes, and they've rigged the game against them. So, but now you can use this knowledge. That's your opportunity. All you have to do is get in when the dark trades take place and go along for the ride when the regular stocks uh, launches higher. Here's a classic example of how powerful this is. Turn $10,000 into $1.2 million. Okay, so we said earlier the magic show must get better, right? So let's bring that dark green out. Magic show must get better. 10,000 and 1.2 million. That's the biggest game I've seen so far. So this might be a stock stream. You could turn 10,000 to 1.2 million. Extraordinary 12,000% gain in Tesla. Early on, regular investors didn't know what to make of an electric car company. But instead of wondering if Tesla would end up being the next Ford or the next DeLorean, you needed to keep an eye on just one thing. What was happening in the dark market? If you look back, Ooh, if you look back, you can see the stock hadn't moved for three years after its IPO. I, this is some good legal avoidance jargon. That's really good. Like, uh, instead of saying, our back-tested our back tested historical tests show, you can actually just say, um, back-testing language here. If you look back, you can see the stock hadn't moved for three years after its IPO. And the price suddenly came to life. All right, cool. Moving on. What happened before this incredible run-up? Take a look. Dark trades. <laughs> hey, buddy. Between January and March of 2013, Cups Capital Management, Route One Investment Company, Adage Capital Management, and others purchased more than a million shares. Yet the stock price chart remained flat until after their dark trade was complete. Which, I mean, this chart's kind of questionable because it. Still kind of up there, but whatever. Uh, but once it was in place, the Wall Street machine, the Wall Street machine, those bastards. All right, so these are our villains. These are our scapegoats. The Wall Street machine set to work driving the price higher, handing those firms a huge payday. Okay, now when they tie the Wall Street machine to the actual proof, this is something. I am getting lazy about marking these up. I, it's, this is bad. Um, okay. That's how we'll, all right, this whole section right here is from, from here. Um, I call this the layman's explanation. And I don't know if layman's is the right layman's or if there's an apostrophe or not, but this is what I call it, I call it layman's explanation. What the layman's explanation is, it always is introduced before they tell you like the formula or some weird like complicated algorithm. They they do the layman's explanation. It's It's always the thing where... If you're, like, three shots, all right, let's say you're sitting at the bar and you've had, like, three shots in, right, and you're sitting there with your buddy, and you've got to explain how this is happening. Like, you heard about something, and you've got to remember, like, one thing. This is what the layman's explanation is. It's how you ex this, explain this to your buddy where he's like, oh, you're right. So that's, um, that's always, like, right before they introduce the technical explanation is what I call the next part, which they may or may not do in this promo. But, yeah. It's a pattern you'll see over and over. Once the dark trade is complete and the money is in, they use every trick in the book to drive the price higher in the regular market. So you're sitting in the bar, and you're like, dude, have you heard about dark trades? And the guy's like, what the freak is a dark trade? And it's like, dude, it's how Wall Street rigs the game, man. Like, you got all these institutions, they buy all the stocks, but the price doesn't go up. So they get, they get the stock at one price, and then all, all the Wall Street guys, they go, they push the stock, they... The mutual funds, they come in, and the market makers, and they come in, and then, bam, price shoots up to the sky, man. And they make all the money, man. 
dark trades. It's all about the dark trades, right? So that's how like a drunk dude would explain it. And it has to be something that a drunk dude could explain. If your layman's explanation cannot be explained by a drunk dude, you did it wrong. All right, going on. You could even turn... We already talked about all this. So, so once you... Okay, once you have a layman's explanation, you need to include the layman phraseology in the next proof point. So that's when I recognize that I didn't point this out. I don't know how to spell. <laughs> Hold on. It can't be right, can it? Okay, layman phrase. So once you have the layman phrase, or, you know, like the scapegoat or whatever you want to call it, explained in the layman's explanation, include it in your next example. So the next example was Tesla. So guess what happened? There were all these dark trades. Okay, all these dark trades. The stock price remained flat. But then the Wall Street machine, which is what we just explained to you, went to work driving the price higher, handing those firms a huge payday. So they're in cahoots, man. These douchebags and these douchebags, they're in cahoots. They're keeping secrets and they're making more money than we are, and it's not fair. Okay, however, if you had made a shadow trade to profit alongside the trading firms, you could have captured an exceptional 12,000% in 289 days. It's like a year. 1.2 million on a $10,000 investment in well under a year. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of high up there. Now keep in mind, examples like these are not just ordinary stock plays. Rather, this is a special kind of shadow trade to maximize potential gain from the inevitable rise. That is some ugly legal. Legal got into this part. Legal jumped right in this mother. It's a special kind of shadow trade to maximize the Potential gain, that's legal, from the inevitable with the quotes, it's legal. Legal tearing up good copy. So what they want to do here is, they say they want to say it's guaranteed, and legal said, it's not guaranteed, brother. You can't put that in there, so they put quotes around it. That's how you get away with that. Okay, uh, now keep in mind, examples like these are not just ordinary stock plays. So this is the objection, uh, it comes back to... You don't have to be like truly sophisticated, but you can still like be like, hold on, if you did this with trading stocks, I don't remember Tesla getting 12,000% in the stock market. So when you see this, you, you're you like, Tesla stock? So you're like, did the stock jump 12,000%? Why didn't I hear about that? And you're like, no, 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 well, these aren't ordinary stock plays. Unfortunately, most regular investors miss out on these incredible run-ups. And the man I interviewed is now sharing his secret. And he's also blowing the lid off a $80,000 opportunity. So there's that same open loop. Continuing to be stoked at the end of like every other section or every section or so. So you, hey man, don't forget, $80,000 is on the line here. A multi-million dollar operation. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm also gambling myself that this isn't stock plays. It might be options or something, right? I don't know. I don't know. This former Wall Street manager works out of his brown works out of this brownstone in the historic Mount Vernon neighborhood of Baltimore. That's so where the Agora companies are. You never know it from the outside. But on the other side of this door, he orchestrates a team of analysts who uncover the market's latest dark trade opportunities. This data is only found on one obscure web portal. And even then, it requires someone familiar with the market to decode it, compile it, and act on it. So this is a, what I would say is only, except the word only, the way I use it, means secret. Which is what Blair Warren says. You want secret knowledge, baby. That's exactly what this gentleman does. His multi-million dollar operation includes access to supercomputer system to keep track of more than $25.3 trillion in institutional buying, including $21 billion in dark trades every week. His name, Alexander Green. You might already know of him as the chief investment strategist here at the Oxford Club. But until today, you likely hadn't heard about Alex's new project to track the dark trade market. When Alex and his team detect a big trade happening in the dark market, they can show you exactly how to profit from it with what he calls a shadow trade. 
So again, kind of talking about that legal jargon and um, what he calls a shadow trade. So it's like, basically that's legal, just hedging a little bit there. And also it is the fact that this is probably something very basic. Uh, time just right, these trades can produce exceptional results. Subscriber says, each that I followed increased, no losers. So there's some testimonials. Let's see, 12 thirds, about halfway through almost. Over the years, Alex's research led Oxford Club members to some life-changing gains. Rob told me, we're able to travel the world because of the money you've helped us make. Your advice has kept my 11 grandchildren in activities, summer camps, travel, and someday college. And Dorothy Burns, a grandmother of seven, said, Alex helped me make me a million dollars over the years. Get into Wall Street's darlings of tomorrow today. Okay, so this is, again, <clears throat> today's op. Now let's look at this, because this is... Okay, so... We were talking about this, right? Uh, today's op. I call it op for opportunity. He's now sharing his secret. So... A reasonable person might anticipate, okay, now he's going to tell us what it is. But you'll n notice that before we do, they give it a big introduction. So this big introduction is sort of like, it's just a way to sneak in some stuff before we actually reveal what it is. And perhaps now he'll tell us, I don't know. Uh, in short, his special project shows you the Wall Street darlings of tomorrow, today. There's an $80,000 opportunity setting up now. Before, before I get into it, Let's look a little closer at how Wall Street runs these stocks up so you can see what's really going on. Take a company like Constellation Brands. Here comes another piece of proof. Back in 2012, unknown wine distributor, but today distributes more than 24 brands. And this is, like I said, the, the Google Knowledge Box piece of it. All right, timer's up. That means if you're watching this, it's time to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want me to review your copy, you can submit it at kylethewriter.com forward slash submit copy and I will review it um, and also if you haven't signed up to get this PDF sent to your email you can sign up here to get access to my swipe file I'll have all my YouTube files on there for you uh, that's kylethewriter.com forward slash swipe you can find all these in the top bar of the kylethewriter.com website and smash like and subscribe and share it on your Facebook alright so that's it that's the, the commercial break Okay, so let's take a little closer look at how this goes. So here's your Google knowledge box I was talking about earlier. Back in 2012, was unknown wine distributor. Today, it distributes 24 brands of mass market wine. Doesn't matter. 2013, uh, four institutions suddenly purchased 19.1 million shares on the dark market. Eagle Capital Management, Kenisco Capital, again, doesn't really matter, followed by George Soros Family Office, which upped his position by 68% in total. These four firms invested $915 million. You can see the dark trade anomaly in black moved along while the stock still traded sideways. And of course, once the dark trades were complete, the price began an incredible run. With a shadow trade, you could have made 438% profit. Okay, it's not my skip. I skipped the word. I need to say it out loud. But uh, the stock on the regular market. I skipped the word regular market just because I was kind of reading quickly. But it's still kind of insisting that this is the only place, you know, so it's the only place you can get this knowledge, and and that's also is so it doubles the same thing. That blue and that green mean the same thing, but uh, of course, once the dark trades were complete, price began an incredible run. You made a bunch of money. You'll see the same thing with Taser. Okay, so we got our proof one. Jim Simon's Renaissance Technologies made a huge dark trade starting on May 2. And once it was complete, Wall Street Machines sprang into action to take the stock higher. Okay, so now we've got layman's scapegoat in there, right? It's all starting to pile on, right? We're starting to get pretty close to the offer section. They're piling it on. Uh, 
the layman phrase. I understand that. The Wall Street machine, they did it. That's how I understand this stuff. All right, these guys. All recommended taser. Institutions push the company in the financial press with story after story of its new product sales growth and the stock rallied. So this is all proof, right? So what's really cool about this proof is it doesn't necessarily prove, <laughs> it kind of proves the point, but it doesn't prove the point very indirectly. Basically, he's just juxtaposed it. Like he's, he's put like, here's a dark trade, and here is the weather that day. You'll notice it's always got like one or two clouds in the air when that happens. So that's that classic correlation does not mean causation kind of stuff. But yeah, so yeah, they had stock uh, uh, stock headlines or, or stock media outlets reported on a uh, performing stock. But they took that very basic thing of the stock media world and made it proof that the Wall Street machine is running this stock up. You see? So, uh, Taser rallies again, extends which, yeah, so, so all you gotta do is find good stock, uh, find good headlines. Okay, so create your point saying that, you know, someone's in cahoots and they're messing with the, with the, the, the playing field and it's unlevel, it's unfair. Here's proof. All you do is find any positive headline. But if you knew how to follow the footprints of dark trades, could have entered trade, made 879% in this rally, 879 profits in your pocket, on a $10,000 per $10,000 investment in just 179 days. You can see this pattern yet again uh, with Tyler Technologies. So that's proof number two, right? Uh, so they're still kind of proving, are they proving, uh, what are they proving? Are they proving the uh, layman's explanation? Yeah, because they only, so this is the layman explanation, right? Yeah, so they explained it. They showed us one example and now they're actually really proving it here. They're digging in. So before they started proving it, they gave us like some testimonials and snuck in some other stuff and they reminded us about today's off. Now they're actually proving what they were saying about layman's things. All right. So uh, opening Brown Capital Management, Tyler Wealth, started it all off. Together, they took a large stake in the company. Again, once the dark trades were in, the Wall Street machine took the stock higher. Nine separate institutional analysts issued strong buy. Shit, not secret. It's a scapegoat. And then these guys issued a strong buy. And bullish stories hit the press. And bam, everyone made a bunch of money. Let's <clears throat> prove number two. Okay. If you had simply gotten into the shadow trade after the dark trades were completed, could have made an extraordinary 1,400%, turning 10,141. When you know where to look, shadow trade opportunities happen constantly. Here's Neurocrine Biosciences, up 3,500% after dark trades were made by Orbimed and Perceptive Advisors. Writing this would give you 10,000 and a 352,000. Just 180 days. See it in Netflix. SRS Investment made dark trade, valued at 932 million. A few weeks later, Netflix started charging higher, just as expected. Okay, so this is proof number three. And this is proof number four. So this is a little bit unique in the fact that most proof comes in threes, and these guys have consistently done four. And maybe they're doing that just so they can push it up to, let's see, by making the shadow trade, you could have collected 22000 10,000 handing you 2.2 million in three months. Gains like this certainly rare. Nothing is guaranteed, but this is big. Okay, yeah. So I think what they were doing, they just got, I think it's just good to have four pieces of proof. It's kind of unique. I think most people do three. They have extra proof. They're using it. And uh, just a good strategy, man. You don't have to do three. And they're, they're proving that here. <laughs> proof, 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 baby. So let's, let's talk really quick about the numbers. Uh, let me check the comments. Question. In the headline, the percentages had decimal points, but further down the letter, they went with round percentages. Is it significant? It doesn't matter. It's not significant. It doesn't matter, but it does. Um, it's only significant in the headline um, because in the headline, the only goal is to capture attention. 
So what they've done in the headline is they, they these four things, unique, you, the word unique, right, right here. Oh, shit, just getting my face out of the way. So unique means attention grabbing, right? But you need urgent, useful, and ultra specific to compel you to read on. And the fact that it's so ultra specific, like, that's why they don't say specific. The U is ultra specific. And it might just be so that the mnemonic device of the four U's can be called the four U's, but maybe they want it to actually be ultra specific. So ultra specific has to be like down to the 10th percentile. So, or maybe percent, not percentile, but 10th percent. So, uh, yeah, it matters in the headline, but it do not matter in the promo itself. So let's get back down here and kind of analyze how the magic show got better, because that's what I wanted to point out right here. All right, so cool, cool. Let's look at these guys. <clears throat> Proof number one, 438%. Not very impressive. A little bit higher than what they opened with. I'm pretty sure like the earlier gains were like uh, one or two, 300%, right? They started, we were looking at 100, 200, 300% gains. Now we're looking at 879% gains. How many pieces of proof have they got? Constellation. Taser. Oh man, they got more. I might have miscounted here. Tyler. Yeah, I don't think I can read. 3,527%. So you see, it's moving up and up 22,026 percent all right, and now when you got things like ten thousands of percent, you kind of want to hold back on those, right? Uh, save those for the end. Anything with ten thousands of percent. I think we did see one earlier, but you get the point. I was saying, like, save your best for last. Okay, so constellation was one, right? Yeah, we got one constellation. Taser. Number two, Tyler. Number three, still talking about Tyler. That's still number three. Neurocran, number four. Netflix, number five. Okay, cool. They're really hammering us with proof. Good job. Why it works. Okay, cool. Uh, also, this is legal. Cool, cool, cool. So this is legal. Um, now when they say past performance is no guarantee of future performance, but imagine if you had made this much money, but this is big. Um, I almost kind of like to copy these lines and just like put them in a little... Maybe I will take this one. This one just seems so plain. Like, hey, yeah, but this is big. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to at least have it to look at. We'll call this... Uh, Legal language. Language. Right, cool. Why it works. So why is shadowing institutional investing, including dark trades, so profitable? Society for Financial Studies concluded. Uh, okay, stocks heavily bought one week in the dark stock market, earned strong returns in subsequent week. Another independent stock ranking firm concluded these dark trades are leading indicators of stock market, adding they have profound impact on stock prices. And analysts, analysis by Journal of Portfolio Management confirmed these trades lead stock prices. Here's how you can use this to realistically make as much as half a million dollars on these waves of institutional money. Three trades in a row, 514900 in profits. So this, this might be a stock string. Uh, so this is just uh, authority proof, right? This whole section is just authority proof. Society for Financial Studies. Independent stock ranking firm. Um, that's Whenever someone says that, it's usually like uh, they don't want to say what came from Motley Fool, which this could very well just be from Motley Fool, which is also like another pseudo direct marketing stock trading service. The Journal of Portfolio Management. So that's a cool idea. Uh, I'm going to actually write that down. 
So they got a section uh, section labeled see, why it works, right? And all it is is uh, examples of authority, proof, and quotes. It's just three pieces of proof. <laughs> they actually don't explain why it works. They just say these guys say it works. All right, Q. Take a look at, uh, so I think we've got a stock string coming right now. Take a look at these three trades that timing it just right could have handed you more than half a million dollars over just the past few months. Starting in January and February of 2016, you can see the wave of dark trade purchases in Joy Global was caused by a cluster of buying activity from Caute, Caute Management, Columbus Circle Investors, and Paula Asset Management, and Levin Capital Strategies, all purchasing 216,685,000 shares each. Had you followed them with a shadow trade on Valentine's Day and ridden it to April 21st, could have captured a bunch of money, 287,000 profits. Another wave you could have caught in February, this is a stock string, was HMS Holdings. Both Joel Greenblatt and Gotham at Gotham Asset Management and Paul Tudor Jones at Tudor Investment Corp made dark trades. And if you knew about them, you could have invested $10,000 on the 26th with a shadow trade and cashed out on May 2 with a $90,000 $90, profit. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we have a third trade, piece of proof number three. Just a few weeks later, during the spike of activity, trades totaling 4 million shares traded in the hidden exchanges. No doubt, you already know what happened next. I love this line. Oops. Uh, but basically, that, that line is like, okay, I'm not even going to, you, you should accept this by now. Uh, they usually do that earlier in the copy. The price shot up on the NASDAQ as mutual funds. Analysts at the big trading firms of financial press all push the stock higher. Okay, so we're referring back to the layman explanation. Good lord, I'm taking a long time. It's already 15 minutes have passed. All right, hit like, subscribe to the channel, submit copy to me to review if you've got any. Um, I think that's all I need, right? Subscribe to the email list. So if you had entered a shadow trade, you could have gotten in on the wave on June 13th and ridden it to September 1st. This time, 10,000 would have turned to 137,500. So by following these three shadow trades, you could have pocketed 514,900 in just a few months. And even if you'd had only 1,000 to invest in each shadow trade, which is perfectly fine, you still would have pocketed 51,490, and that brings me to the big opportunity you have right now. So there is the big op. Today's op. Okay. And I don't know if it is today's op or not. The same op that I've been talking about. All right, let's go back and analyze what we're talking about here. So this is a stock string, but 287, 90. So that puts us at like, you know, three something, and then 130. So four, yeah. So that's, okay, so one thing that we can't do. So what a stock string is, what a, what a stock string, for those who don't know, I'm going to come back to this question in just a second. So for anyone who doesn't know what a stock string is, what it typically means is we'll find a string of big winners that came within weeks of each other. So we have stock A. If you'd have taken $1,000 and put it in stock A, you'd have had a $9,000 gain. Now pull your $1,000 out and you're playing with house money. Roll that entire winning into the one that came next week, and get another nine thousand percent, something like that, and you're at, you're now at a hundred thousand dollars, right? Okay, so you're still playing with house money. Your thousand dollars still in your pocket. So you take that hundred thousand, and you roll it into the gain that comes a week after you cashed out of that, and now you're at one point two million. That's something that we used to do, pretty frequently in this business. It was like in almost all the promos back in the day, but uh, it got to a point where that's just too risque and like we would never really recommend anyone ever do that in real life trading so we kind of shut that down we don't do that anymore so I'm looking at this like how do they how do they put together their stock stream so that's basically what this is right and if you look they're never telling you to roll your winners 
into the next one. They just say, hey, here's a $10,000 investment, just like all our $10,000 investments before. Here's $10,000 investment, would've got you this. $10,000 investment, would've got you that. We're not telling you to roll them all into each other because what it would've looked like was uh, the first one would've came, 287. He'd say, take the 10,000 out. Now you're gonna put 277,000 into this. And with this kind of gain, 903%, you'd have been like a millionaire. And then he said, well, that's not good enough. Take the million and roll it into this, and then you'd be like a gajillionaire. So that's what a stock string looks like. Um, that's just for, like, to know. We don't actually do that anymore. Just some cool information if you don't know what a stock string is. Uh, one thing that they're not doing a lot of in this promo, there's very little reframing. Here's one of the few examples of a reframe. I think that's because, actually, I don't know why. Maybe they just didn't feel the need to, or it wasn't as common when this was written, or maybe um, uh, maybe it's because the gains weren't large enough to try to like make them seem like, whoa. So I'm not sure. But this is a reframe where they say, they actually stepped it down, where even if you, <laughs> they literally said, even if you had just $1,000, which you broke ass, uh, you just still made it 50000 And I would have reframed that. I'd have said, that's an accountant's salary. That's a reframe. Just give it some sort of thing to make you conceptualize what $50,000 actually is. You could say, like, your, your, uh, your, your starting public accountant salary is $50,000. You could have made their salary in three months doing nothing while they're busting their butt at the office in a cubicle hating life. So, I mean, just reframe it. Like, get some perspective on what $50,000 is. Okay, let's look at some questions. Question. I like how specific they are about who does what and from what company they are. It feels like half of all authority proof is company names and people's names and titles. Is there a specific way you guys do this, or is it just find people and list their name? It's just Google. So a lot of people, one of the more common questions I get is something like, is basically what you just asked is phrased, like how do you get away with saying this stuff? Or like how much of this do you make up? None of it is made up, zero. This is a, uh, so you know, you know what the strategy is, right? You know the strategy is dark trades, okay? So the copywriter understands that this is a strategy based on heavy institutional investing. So all they gotta do is type in something like institutional investment momentum. Type that into Google. And then you'll see all these results explaining how that works or why that works. And then you just go through the, the whole article and then you find that like the intro will be like, the intro will basically give you what you need right away. So you click a, a article titled by CNBC, how institutions move the markets, right? That's the, let's say that's a made up headline where it would be. So you click that article and their first lead in line says something like, uh, when big institutions make giant investments, uh, let's see. You can basically could just be these quotes, right? Because stocks heavily bought one week in the dark market. So that could be by institutional investors. And it's because you've got the brackets right here. Could have said anything. Right? The, in between these brackets could have been anything. But it says uh, stocks heavily bought in one week by institutional investors earn strong returns in the subsequent week. Why is this? Does And then the, maybe the article says, do institutional investors run up stock prices? It seems to be dot, dot, dot leading indicators of the stock market and has a profound impact on stock prices. That could literally be like the first two lines of that of that whole article. You snip those lines out and you say an independent stock ranking firm or you'd say CB, uh, CNBC says and that's it. It's really just Google. None of this stuff is made up. All right. Okay, 45. Triple digit opportunities with an average 290% gain, partial plays included. Alex is blowing the lid off of an $80,000 dark trade opportunity. For five years, he and his team in Baltimore have been tracking institutional activity like this. 
and sending an email alert recommending a special shadow trade to profit from it. He's already handed this elite group 45 triple digit opportunities to profit, partial plays included. I think that's going to be like a legal thing when they keep saying that. Um, with an average 290% gain on these triple digit shadow trades over the last three years, including a few nice exceptional profits. Of, so, this is just track record. Track record. All right, cool. He's praised by folks who follow his research. Here come some testimonials. Okay. He says, I'm a small investor. I just invest 2500 in each opportunity. Uh, with even this small amount, I'm ahead over $90,000. That's, that's a good testimonial. Greg's life, as well as thousands of others in li investors' lives, is being changed thanks to these, in part, to these dark trades. As you can see, Alex is an expert on following this institutional money, having worked on Wall Street for 14 years. Today, he shares the techniques he learned with regular folks to help them build lasting wealth. And just as he revealed these ticker symbols to me, Alex sends his newest dark trade opportunities to a small group of people. But until today, you may not have heard about Alex's exclusive project to alert folks to these opportunities. Okay. I like this promo because it's, I'm not making – a lot of the promos I've done, I've just marked them with green, which means it's either new, safe, big, or fast, or easy. Like all the promos right now, I, I'm like – just covered in green markings for those words and this one not really they've still had success though right i think it's because they really really honed in that this is a secret thing and they really proved that this is due to the scapegoat this is because of the scapegoat and you can just ride the wave it's really well done for what seems like a pretty basic momentum strategy it's a research service called the momentum alert okay let's go to offer text because now um let's use pink here so we're in the offer. Um, once you intro the newsletter, you're in the offer. And in my last YouTube video, I, um, when I, I reviewed a subscriber's copywriting in my last YouTube video. So go look at that after this if you haven't already. And one of the things that I said early on was nobody wants to buy your newsletter. The intro to the newsletter usually comes well after they bit on the opportunity. I bit on dark trades, okay? I want to know how to collect $80,100 in dark trade opportunity. I don't want your newsletter. I want the $80,000 dark trade opportunity. So when we were reviewing this copy yesterday for it looked like a it was like a Facebook or LinkedIn sort of uh, I guess you call it long form for that for that platform and that format. But the the solution came very early on in the copy. It was basically like, hey, people have this problem. You could waste all this time doing all this research, or you could just get the solution. And then it was a list of all the things that the solution has. The way that I would approach the copy would be more like, here's a huge opportunity. I can teach you this one thing that's brand new, that's super easy, that no one else knows about. And then I would prove that. And that's what this is, what sales letters do, is I would introduce this opportunity right at the beginning, right? They did that on page one, and we're on page 19 times two. So we're on like page 30-something, right? Or like, this is like 37 or 38. And all they've done is proved us that dark trades are a real thing and that you can make a ton of money. Now we're hearing about the product. Now, after I'm completely sold and I want this, I don't give... Uh, I don't care. Whatever I gotta do to get a hold of dark money or dark trades doesn't matter. So that's how that's how this whole psychological process works. I'm getting these people to buy this stuff. Nobody wants your newsletter. Nobody wants. I hate to say it. I don't want to hate on the, the last copy. But nobody wants your mastermind. Maybe they do, but but you gotta convince them sometimes and usually indirectly. Nobody wants your product per se. So you start with the opportunity, explaining exactly how it's going to change their lives. And you do that in financial copy by saying, like, look at this sucker, 1,300% in 80 days. So, cool. Nobody wants your newsletter. That's the whole point of everything I just said. All right. His goal in Momentum Alert is to alert subscribers to dark trades so they can aim for gains like these historic examples. Acuity brands, 418%. Uh, okay, I'm going to mark this, too. His goal. 
Um, I, I don't know why this copy is in every offer of all time, but every offer has the goal of this thing is to. Always, an all offer copy. It's always there. The goal of mental alert is to alert them so you can get 418 here, 525 there, 1260 there, 1843 there, 5793 there. Okay, so it's just up, 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 splooge, 5739%. Okay, so that's this is what I would call. A proof barrage and this is usually towards the offer section okay proof barrage all right we got a one two three four and five okay uh, shit come on guys come on get back get back Okay, where one simple shadow trade would have netted you 5,793%, think about that. If you'd invested 10,000, you'd now have an extra 579,300 for retirement. And if you decided to make a smaller investment of 1,000, you still have 57,930 to play with. And if Alex's momentum alert track record is any indication, his next pick could be a massive winner. We're talking about 801% gain or 80,100 profits on a $10,000 investment. So, this is just like a prediction of an 800% gain. So, I bet you what happened was, is someone said to the editor and said, Hey, man, what's your next pick going to be worth? And the guy says, I think it'll go up like eight times its value. <laughs> and the copywriter said, well, I can't say 80000 on a 10000 Because if you say 80000 on 10000 it's not specific enough to be believable. It just seems like a placeholder. You can't have... A nice round number like that. So the 80,100 is probably a result of him telling the editor, the guru, the stock picker, can't be 800, it's got to be 801. They don't really reveal that until the offer section, but um, I'm thinking that's kind of how that conversation went down. We got a question here. Is the his goal part written so indirectly so they can aim instead of so they can make because of legal? Okay, cool. I see what you're saying. All right. Is this section... His goal is to alert subscribers to dark trades so they can aim for games like these historic examples. Yes, the reason it's written like that is because of legal. His goal is to alert subscribers. That's legal. So they can aim for gains. That's legal. Because what the, what the copywriter want to tell you, his goal is to help you get gains like Acuity, CalAmp, Anika, Anika Therapeutics, and Synapsis Therapeutics. Yeah, so that's exactly why. It's legal. Okay, so the alarm just went off. That means it's time for you to hit the like button if you're new. Just jumping in. Hit that like button, baby. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel. And I do stuff like this all the time because I'm super cute. And then um, share this on your Facebook so that all your friends can pile in here. We can all talk together and hang out. And then sign up for my email list and get access to my swipe files so that you can get this sucker, this PDF, in your email box. And then you can always go back and look at it. And remember those awesome times we shared together going over dark trades. Uh, what you call it? The dark trades promo. And that's kylewriter.com forward slash swipe. That's where you can get these uh, my swipe file, all the stuff I went over on YouTube. And also you can go to kylewriter.com forward slash submit hyphen copy. And if you want your copy reviewed by yours truly, just go there, submit it. I'll review it. All right? Moving along. So the, the window on his next momentum alert has opened, but it could close as early as Monday night. So we got our pink, pink back, pinky. We got urgency. And this urgency is great because it doesn't say anything. It just says it could close as early as Monday. Or no, oh, snap, not Monday. As early as midnight tonight. Okay. So, yeah, it doesn't say anything. It could close as early as midnight tonight. Could not. <laughs> That's basically all it says. All right, so here's what you need to know about Alex's momentum alert. Alex Green's momentum alert. By finding out in advance where institutions are about to direct their money, Momentum Alert subscribers are gaining a distinct advantage over nearly everyone else in the market. So this is secret info, right? Like you got info that nobody else has. 
secret knowledge. Uh, the alerts Alex readers receive are not complicated. We've heard from a few investors who are already following them in their ordinary online brokerage accounts. Many have booked big wins during Alex's incredible run of 45 triple-digit winners over the past three years, counting partial plays. Uh, testimonials, 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 testimonials. Dick says, uh, I have gained 79,000 and 88,000. Andrew says, uh, gains allowed us to do a $150,000 complete remodel of our beach home in San Diego. Fred called Alex Alexander the Great because Fred grossed over 100 k and made excellent returns on other recommendations. Alex is tracking multiple opportunities at any given moment. Right now, he says everything is setting up for an $80,100 opportunity. And everything, if everything falls into place, he could soon, oh, if everything falls into place, he could soon send out an alert to his Momentum Alert readers. In the Momentum Alert, he and his team detect the best dark trade opportunities, find out where institutional money is flooding in, and when the conditions are right, recommend companies whose stocks Wall Street is on the verge of pushing on new highs. Okay, so you probably already spot all the legalese in this junk, right? Um, he could soon send an alert. That could happen, good not. <laughs> uh, if everything falls into place. That's legal. When the conditions are right. That's legal. <clears throat> Here's the thing. These dark trades are extremely powerful indicators, but Alex doesn't look at institutional activity in isolation. This is going to be legal, too. He's looking for the biggest potential gains. To do that, he and his team and his supercomputer system select the best dark trade opportunities available. So opportunities are legal. I'm talking about companies that have the following qualities. Okay. They have great products and services and high demand. Often these are products that capture the imagination and make for exciting press releases. They have management that Wall Street has a history of supporting because of its stellar track record for success. They have good financials that anal analysts build their ratings on. For example, do double-digit sales growth, three years of 20% plus earnings, plus return equity of more than 17%. So specific. Uh, they are within eight years of an IPO. If it's too small, Wall Street won't support it. If it's too big, profits are smaller. If it's just right, it can run up quickly. Within eight years of an IPO? So they have IPO'd? Okay, I guess it means they IPO'd within eight years, or the, the last eight years. Uh, distinct advantage implies measurable, but at the same time, distinct doesn't mean measurable. Love this wording, it's great. Yeah, man. Word ninja-ing. So this is two things. <clears throat> On one hand, this is a bit of legal. I'm going to say it's a piece. I think I don't think it's mainly legal, but I think it's a piece of legal where you have to say, like, this is more of legal. Like, how do I explain this? So the copywriter wants you to believe that dark trades are the answer. You can get in front of dark trades. You can make a zillion dollars. So all you need to know is dark trades. But legal is going to say, no, 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 no. We do research. Like, we only offer our commentary. We give you commentary, you decide if you want to trade or not. It isn't so X, it isn't A and then B like we write in the copy. So legal kind of wants you to explain, no, 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 we do research, we're offering commentary, and then you make the decision. So this is a little bit, this is kind of legal. Uh, he doesn't, here's the thing, Alex doesn't just look at institutional activity, okay? So that's a little bit of legal, but also this makes it seem this is a little bit of the technical explanation that I was talking about earlier, right? Shit, why can't I spell? Okay, I told you earlier that we have a layman's explanation. Well, the layman's explanation has to be something that you can sit on a bar stool half drunk and explain to your half drunk friend, and you both kind of get it. And what we said that layman's explanation was, hey, man, institutions invest a crap ton of money into these companies. And then guess what happens? 
Wall Street sends out a bunch of headlines to make them look good. So everybody buys them and the price shoots up. And the institutions make all the money, man. The Wall Street machine is what they called in the promo. The Wall Street machine gets us every time. That's a layman's example, right? It's a layman's explanation. The technical explanation I told you will be a much more convoluted explanation that usually has some sort of complicated algorithm or formula to prove to you that this is way too complicated for you to try to attempt on your own. You need me. You need the guru. You need my experience, my expertise, and my like secret knowledge. <laughs> Basically, the theme of the promo. So, generally, that comes like you, you do your layman's explanation. You give like three pieces of proof. This is generally speaking from what I've read of the promos that I've read. You do the layman's explanation, you give like your three to four pieces of proof explaining, I see, what did I tell you? Institutions, they invest and then they go straight up. Institutions and then Wall Street helps them out, goes up. And you do that three times. Then you usually do something like this, where you come back and you say, how do we know that? How do we know about the layman's explanation or the key insight? How do we know that that's how it works? Because I have the secret algorithm or something like that. And you can't do the algorithm because I had a physics engineer, PhD, create the algorithm. So you're screwed unless you subscribe to my newsletter. Um, generally, it's a lot earlier in the copy. But maybe because this is such a basic, and I do, it's called the momentum alert, right? It's just a momentum trader. There's nothing really fancy to it. You watch for the spike, you get in, and you hope to coast up. So maybe that's why they held it back so long, but they have to put it in there, or else you have the, and you might be the mistaken belief. You might not be smart enough to do it with just momentum, but you may have the belief that, oh, if I can just figure out what the institutions are doing, then I can go do this on my own. But no, no, no. You can't do that because Alice Green has this four-point system, right? He's got this four-point system here where it's way more complicated than you think. And I think that's the reason why it's 17% right there because that makes it so complicated. Like, it seems specific, right? Like, why 17% and a return on equity? Like, look at – they're using jargon here, right? We don't use jargon in copy. The only time you use jargon in copy, like return on equity of more than 17%, is because you kind of want to confuse the reader on purpose. You kind of want to look super sophisticated so that the reader's like, oh, hell, <laughs> I thought I could figure it out if I just figure out the institutions, but now I know there's no way I could do this. So um, that's what that's why this is what I would call the technical explanation. It's just reinforcing that you're too dumb to do this without me. Moving along, we're in the offer section. Almost, uh, what, how, what page are we on? Still eight more pages. And that's 16 pages because I've got double pages up here. All right. No questions? Good. And more. All right, so he's got all this research and more. When you join, <clears throat> okay, you'll receive one to two recommendations every single month, 24 to 36 a year. If you've seen Alex's technique, it's led to stunning and fast gains in regular stocks. He's also recommended uh, recommends a way to supercharge these gains to bring in multiples more. I've been calling them shadow trades. Okay. Alex's technique has led to stunning and fast gains in regular stocks. Recommends a way to supercharge his gains. I've been calling them shadow trades. They're a very specific type of options trade. There it is. So this is the reveal. And we, we took note of that, right? We took note of that with Netflix. And this might be, I might be getting myself in trouble trying to scroll back and find this. It might take me all day. I just there it is. Oh, Tesla, not Netflix. Tesla, right? When we saw we saw that twelve thousand percent gain, and I was like, hold up, I know a little bit about the stock market, and I know how to hurt up with twelve thousand percent gain in Tesla, right? So what they what did they say here? Way way back here. And what page are we on here? Eleven. We're pretty early in the copy. And look right there, layman explanation. Keep in mind, examples like these are not just ordinary stock plays. Okay, so they say it right there. This is the uh, <clears throat> special kind of shadow trade. Okay, so this is this is a uh, options hint revealed in offer. Okay, that's important. Because uh, now you can see how they were able to get away with talking about stocks, but the gains 
were not stock gains, all right? They were options gains. So maybe the shadow market is options activity, right? The dark trades are off the regular stock market because we're actually following options momentum instead of stock momentum. I don't know if that makes sense because I actually don't trade options and I don't know, but that seems like a plausible explanation, right? All right, question. So how much of these specifics actually come from the back end? I mean, is the 17% thing legit? How the alerts mechanism works? Or is this mostly a copy thing? Oh, no, it's legit. It's legit. If it says 17%, but that's the thing. Like, the bar, the 17% could be a random number. The real guru might have an average uh, return on equity of like 20% before he goes in. And just like that, just like he expects it to go 801% instead of 800% gain, the copywriter probably said, look, I know you usually look for 20% gainers, but we're going to put a minimum of 17% so that we can have something that looks specific and sophisticated and purposeful. That's the thing. The 17% makes it look very purpose-driven. Like there's a reason for 17%. So uh, it's legit. Like they have to do, let's see what this is. For example, double-digit sales growth, three years of 20% plus earnings growth, and a return on equity of more than 17%. So yeah, I mean, maybe the guru actually wants to have uh, 15 or 20 or something around there, some that, that's like what we call like a round number. And uh, the copywriter says, hey man, <laughs> everyone's going to think that they can do that. Everyone's going to think that that's like easy unless you put a very purposeful sounding number like 17%. Okay, now let's see what we got here. I've been calling them shadow trades. They're designed to multiply your short-term gains. They can be placed in your online brokerage account in two minutes and their profits could have you living easy for the rest of your life. Starting out with a small amount of money, many of Alex's readers over the years have made life-changing gains. Okay. So earlier I mentioned the word proof barrage. This is a true blue proof barrage. The other thing earlier I think was only five pieces of proof. This is what a proof barrage actually looks like. It's 12. We got 12 pieces of proof here. Okay, so that, that's a real proof barrage. Um, that was the alarm. Means if you're new here, uh, hit the like button, subscribe and like it, and then put it on your Facebook, and then uh, sign up for my email list, which is kylethewriter.com forward slash swipe. That'll get you this PDF, this PDF in your inbox. And then also, if you want your copy reviewed by me, you can actually have it reviewed by me now for the first time ever. This just started yesterday. I'm actually going to review subscribers' copy. Just subscribe to the YouTube channel. I don't think I'm going to, I think you got to be a, yeah, you got to be a subscriber to get your stuff reviewed by me. Uh, and then go to kylethewriter.com and you can go to kylethewriter.com forward slash submit copy and submit your copy there for review. Or I just put it in the chat box if you want to see. Or you can just go to kylethewriter.com and it'll be in the top right hand corner to say get your copy reviewed or something like that. All right, so this is a proof barrage. Uh, James, more testimonials. So this 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 writing is I want to say I don't want to say the word good but it's this person made an effort right a lot of copywriters will just be like here's ten testimonials and then here's the gains and then here's this and here's that this guy's kind of mixing and meshing things in one on top of the other and they got the options reveal in the offer section and then they slammed you with twelve pieces of proof that's showing you you could live the easy life like uh, I actually am gonna I'm gonna have a look at this thing here. This right here is it's really hard to do the options reveal right like you're playing a fire right there because people are afraid of options so this is really well done in the offer section no less so that's cool I'm gonna put that in my notes I'm gonna refer back to it when uh, something I need to come up with a way to cleverly say something uh, not casually, but ele elegantly. All right. 
Uh, okay, cool. Uh, now, his momentum alert service, he's aiming for this to happen to you, too. For his current $80,100 opportunity, he'll tell you exactly how to buy and sell both the stock and the option in your brokerage account in less than two minutes, but you need to get in now. This alert could go out at any moment. Okay. Also, like I said, he's, he's weaving a lot of stuff together very cleverly. Most of these offer sections start with, like, his goal is to make you this. What you can, and then the next thing they do is they call it what you can expect. I call it what you can expect, um, which is not a good buzzword, right? I'm going to knock over my, uh, my background. All right, so he'll tell you exactly how to. Some people make this a whole section, and I'm still kind of looking for that. Historic opportunity. So you're about to learn about the opportunity. Now, you like the chart I'm going to show you next. Let's run through the company behind us first. Uh, this company is riding a massive technology wave. Wall Street is behind. Has in-demand products and services. Is run by management Wall Street has a history with. Has rocketing sales and earnings growth as well as return on equity of more than 17% and more. Um, so maybe that's why they made it 17 so that this opportunity would fit the bill. Uh, technical explanation. Uh, also, it's this is qualifications here for what is a good qualify a good op. This qualifies what is a good opportunity. And then, oh my God, look at there! This one, <laughs> this one fits the bill. <clears throat> it meets all of Alex's criteria for an outstanding momentum stock. And now, massive dark trades are taking place. Okay, a bunch of trades. 8.4 million shares have recently been traded, nearing. Nearly 10 times the company's average daily volume. You can see it here. Dark trace. Uh, it's probably a bad chart because this doesn't resemble what we've seen on the other charts before. Uh, I should feel like this black part should go like, way higher and you, should, you could probably just change the way the graphs are written. Um, that's about as clear a chart sign of dark trade activities we've ever seen. Alex believes Wall Street is quietly moving the stock onto the launch pad. Well, you know what will happen after it does. Brokers will call clients. Mutual funds will ramp up the positions. Analysts will distribute stories and issue buy recommendations. So this fits the bill, right? Fits the bill. And then you know what will happen. Okay, cool. In short, trading on the New York Stock Exchange will rapidly launch the stock price higher as Wall Street gets behind it nearly overnight. Again, momentum is building at a rapid pace. Given the momentum alerts track record on similar situations, uh, track record, I believe this play could hand you $80,000 in the coming weeks. So what this is, is saying this stuff is safe. You don't want to miss out. You don't want to miss out. I think we just talked about this yesterday. Uh, click that video or go watch the video from yesterday where I review a subscriber's copy. But uh, it was like, uh, don't tell them they're wrong. Don't tell them uh, you must see this really. Instead, I suggest to them that you don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss out. Uh, so that's, that's what I just said yesterday. It's right there in the copy. And it's written in the correct sort of aggression less way. No aggression. You don't want to miss out. Especially when the strategy could help you retire sooner than you thought possible. So how soon could you retire here? Uh, this question is how fast, right? This is a really unique offer uh, section because we still have copy, like body copy being weaved into this. This is body copy stuff. Consider the power of following this type of strategy. If you had invested 10,000 in Ligon Pharmaceuticals, you could have cashed out your position for 304,000 in 175 days. 304,000, okay, I see. On February, you could have taken a 10,000 position semiconductor. This is proof again. Uh, cashed out with Shoot, it's proof number one. Proof number two. Pat crashed out 184,000. On June 13, you could have gotten in Synapsis Therapeutics trade. Saw earlier, cashed out with $579,000 profit in 80 days. That's half a mil. 
Proof number three. Adding these three trades in a row. Okay, so this is this is sort of a reframe. Sort of. Basically, you sum it up. Sure, it's rare and exceptional to make a million dollars timing it just right like this, starting out with just 10000 in each position. But imagine you could even start out with only 3000 and pocket a million dollars in a single trade. Let me show you. So this is a really good use of legal, taking what legal gave you. Um, legal says these are rare and exceptional gains. And then the writer said, yeah, it's rare and exceptional, but actually look at the next example. So uh, that's actually a pretty good way to do this. And I'm going to talk about legal language. Oh, actually, here. I can bring it up here. Burn this final example into your brain. So this is probably going to be what we would call the finale, right? Like the big bajillion dollar trade. Actually, this probably wouldn't be in the offer section copy, generally speaking. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to predict that this is our finale. Burn this final example into your brain. Because if you tap into these dark trades, life-changing profits like this could be right around the corner for you. One $3,000 trade, a $1 million profit. Consider Ballard Power Systems. On November 2013, Platinum Asset Management made a 3 million share dark trade in the company. Peak 6 Capital, Renaissance Technologies, Millennium Management, and three others also quietly took dark market positions. You've seen this before. And you'll see these situations like this again as a new, ooh, this is future pacing. This is like an imagined thing. Okay, if you'd have gotten in during the spike, you could have captured an exceptional 38,000% gain in 112 days. So how much would it cost to make a million dollars on this momentum stock? One single trade, a small $3,000 investment, could have handed you $1 million profit. Of course, what's happened in the past is not necessarily an indication of what will happen in the future. Plus, there's always risk in investing. You shouldn't trust anyone who tells you to the contrary. But, dark trades might be the strongest indicators you can find that a stock will hand you the biggest gain of your life. By joining the Momentum Alert, while subscriptions are still available, you could get started out of the gate with this $80,100 winner. I don't know how they got away with saying that. Maybe because... um the word could, maybe because could is right there, but I don't know how legal let them get away with that. Uh, so here, we're back to urgent. Talking, uh, oh, subscription is still available. And that's, uh, that's some, we're back in offer copy. And that could lead you in the financial path of freedom you've always dreamed of. Many Alex's readers, testimonials again. Earl Sanders tells us, because of your advice over the past few years, I have been able to buy two new cars and I plan a trip to England next year with my children and grandchildren and close out positions for gains more than $100,000. Bob Neils writes, because of your approach and diligent hand on the helm, my wife and I close on a second home on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Thank God I found Alex Green. It just made it simpler for me. So will you be the next to cash in? Will you be the next to cash in? Okay, uh, so this is like a... Uh, decision okay so this finally so the whole point of this uh, the title of this stream is the forbidden keys to persuasion and what I was trying to do was look at these hidden addictions one through seven that are listed in forbidden keys to persuasion by Blair Warren and I actually found it's kind of difficult to place those with the exception of addiction number five people need to know things Others don't know, or things they aren't supposed to know. Okay, so that's that's been throughout. We've seen that. We marked that in dark blue. People need a scapegoat. Okay, 
We saw that with the Wall Street machine. The reason you're not rich is because these buttholes are in cahoots and they're keeping secrets from you. So that kind of plays into number five and number three. But people need to feel needed. Not really done. When aware of an impasse, people will do anything to gain a sense of hope. So if you're struggling with money, dark trades is your sense of hope. That's why it's a big idea. Quote, quote, a big idea is going to trigger this hope addiction. It should trigger it throughout the promo. So you can't really just point and say, this is it. It should be uh, undertone through the whole thing. So that's it. We got two, we got three, and we got five. All right, so people need to be noticed and feel understood. We didn't really talk too much about their feelings in this promo. People need to be right. This can be uh, confirming their suspicions. In um, When we did the scapegoat, that could very well confirm their suspicions and tell you, you know what, you've been right all along. The Wall Street guys have been screwing you. Okay, We don't come out and say that in the copy, and some promos do. Some promos say, if you think the game is rigged, you're right. They actually address it directly. I don't think we saw that line in this promo, but that we've just hit number six. Okay, number seven, people need to feel a sense of power. So that's where I stopped here for this decision line. So uh, this might be a sense of power line. Will you be the next to cash in? It's your decision. You have the power. All right. So when I first started this promo, I was like, there's no way I can't find these hidden addictions anywhere. But now I'm kind of starting to see them. Uh, and after going over the list, it looks like all of them are pretty much in there in some way. So cool. Man, that's pretty neat. All right. So that's, there it is. That's your choice right now, right? So uh, let's get back to the, this purple. Your choice. Like, I can't stress that enough. It's your choice. You have the power. You're in control. I'm not in control. I'm not pressuring you. I'm not a pushy salesman. It's your choice. All right. Unfortunately, not everyone may be able to afford the subscription to Momentum Alert. The regular price for a subscription is $4,000 a year. That's a hefty but fair price, especially considering a small $3,000 investment in the type of trades he's following could hand you 1 million profits. Plus, you've heard the praise for those who are following Alex's shadow trades right now. We know what gains like these could do for you and your family. So today we're going to make the decision to become a new Momentum Alert subscriber for easy for you because... For a short time, Alex is opening the door to new Momentum Alert subscribers for 55% off. So instead of paying $4,000 with this 55% discount, you can get started today for just $17.97. Okay, so this is easy. Uh, anchor. This is a price anchor. You always anchor the price, and then you give them the, free, the true price. Uh, that came pretty quick. <laughs> Sometimes I'll anchor the price, and then I'll go like a whole two sections through the copy and talk about something else, and I'll come back to it and be like, by the way, I really want you to have this, and we'll cut the price. Uh, they did it right away. They're like, here's an anchor. Here's a price. Done. Uh, the alarm just went off. That means subscribe, hit like, share it on Facebook, subscribe to my email list, which is at kylewriter.com forward slash swipe. It's at the top bar in the menu. It says uh, daily emails and my swipe file, so you can get this, this swipe in your uh, email box. And if you want to submit copy to me, you can do that at kylethewriter.com, and I'll review it. You can submit your copy to me. I'll review it. All right, cool. So there's a price anchor. Okay, and we talked about this earlier. Let's go back to the hidden addictions. People need to feel needed. That's the one thing I haven't really been able to pinpoint in the copy. And I think the closest thing we've got to people feeling needed is uh, gains like these could do for you and your family. So... Feel needed. All right, so I feel like uh, you're needed. Like, you need to do this to benefit your family. They need you. They need you. If you can do this for them, you will be the hero. So that's kind of the closest thing I got to hitting addiction number one. So I think that means, uh, whoops, what am I looking at here? It's a different notepad. Uh, we got this one, got this one, got this one. We still haven't really gotten this one, I don't think. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, cool. Plus, 
If you were one of the first 200 people to get in a day, you'll also get a second year for free. That's pretty cool. Again, Alex is opening the door to 200 new Momentum Alert subscribers today with 55% discount and a second year of the Momentum Alert for free. So instead of paying $4,000 with this discount, you could get started today for just $17.97. Here's what you'll get when you become a new Momentum Alert subscriber. Um, here's just a, a little thing. So instead of paying $4,000, I just said instead of paying eight thousand, because you get two years. With this discount, you get started for seventeen ninety seven. Here's what you'll get when you become a new Momentum Alert subscriber. Okay, we talked about this earlier. The what you get language, where they explain exactly what you get, and they show you a picture of the email, and they tell you what the recommendations are going to look like. You already understand what uh, you understand the momentum alert service at its very core. So here's an email. You'll receive alerts on the top stocks that have had massive dark trade activity, uh, and you're about to see massive gains. These email alerts are easy to read. Alex makes it as easy as possible. So, I mean, hell, I'll go to green. Easy to read, easy as possible for you to get involved in this smart new way to make money as a momentum alert subscriber each month you receive one to two recommendations just like this one plus you will receive progress report emails with his latest thoughts on all of his open positions uh, so progress report emails is pretty cool not <laughs> emails so instead of just saying emails they say progress report emails which is kind of like a neat little way to call it something funky. As soon as you order, you'll receive your username and password to the subscriber site where you can see all of his research and open and close alerts. But you need to decide now if the momentum alerts for you. So decide. For you, this is about power. You have the power. There's no waiting until tomorrow here. So that's twice. Twice when they gave him power, they immediately said, you have the power. Did I not see that again? I thought for sure they said uh, urgency immediately. That nah, was after this thing. Okay. I thought they were doing a one-two punch with power, then urgent. Act decisively. Warren Buffett, during a Q&A period at the University of Nebraska, once said, The nice thing about investment business is that you'll see plenty of times when you get chances to do things that just shout at you. And the thing you have to do is take a big swing. It's no time to be reading a book on diversification. You take your thumb out of your mouth and barrel in. Look, so Warren Buffett says do it. <clears throat> this opportunity to become a Momentum Alert subscriber could be gone tomorrow. And once these discounted subscriptions are gone, doors will close. So, more urgent. It's going to become more and more urgent as we get closer to the, to the button. Um, so, could be gone tomorrow. Doesn't really say anything, but it does give you that urgent feeling. You must act decisively. Take that big swing now. To get you to step up to the plate, uh, so... And they did do one thing of scarcity. It said 200. Uh, this is a little bit of scarcity. A little bit. To get you to step up to the plate, we're also giving you a full six-month performance and money-back guarantee. So your guarantee. This will give you plenty of time to decide whether you want to shadow trade without risking a penny. So if you aren't completely happy with having the opportunity to bank... Uh, six triple digit gains per our track record so these are both legal or if you don't find yourself typing up your own email telling us how your life has changed with the money you've made you can cancel for a full refund anytime in the first six months we must hear from you now but you must you absolutely must snap up your subscription now. This 80 grand opportunity is setting up. It's all urgent. Alex will close the doors 
on this special offer with a discount and second year free the moment 200 discounted subscriptions are filled today. And when that happens, this page will be removed from the internet. It could happen as early as midnight tonight. Again, this is a dark trade happening right now. In total, 8.4 million shares have just traded nearly 10x company's average daily volume. Alex believes Wall Street is quietly moving this stock on the launch pad. You know what happened after he does. Alex has already handed this momentum alert. Subscribers 45 triple digit opportunities to profit with an average of 290% gain, including partial plays. The next recommendation could fall into place moments from now. And the alert could soon hit your inbox. Swing big like one of Alex's readers, Peter Mangini, did. He's happy he's on board with Alex, recently telling us Alex Green's advice has secured my retirement before I turn 60. That's a really unique testimonial insert right there at the end. Come on, we're almost done. Don't bug out on me now. Act decisively while you still have the opportunity to join him while you still have the... Right now, there's a tiny window to get in. Tiny window right now. To get in $80,100 opportunity, simply below. <laughs> the call to action. Simply below to take the time to review everything you get as a new Momentum Alert subscriber. The call to action. What a whiff. Oh, my God. They messed up the call to action. Okay. And I bet you. This is because of legal, and whenever you're dealing with uh, legal and the track changes, you get so many things. Like when you do Microsoft Word track changes, it's hard to keep up after like three or four rounds back and forth. So look, there's a space missing here. The word click is missing here. And then the words take the time to review everything. Simply click below to take the time to review everything. That's legal. I bet you legal has a big part in this being a muffed up call to action uh, and there's their track changes but yeah simply click below to take the time to review everything you get as a new momentum alert subscriber uh, chief media analyst okay cool so huh, holy cow that's a really hard sell yeah it is isn't it it's pretty hardcore like when you I told you like when we got up here I said, as we get closer to the button, it's going to get a lot more urgent. And boy, did they drill it. The urgency. Every line is urgent. Um, so now you know what to do. Like, as you're approaching your call to action, you need to let them know now or never. Also, I noticed there was one instance of scarcity right there at the 200. So that was the only time I saw any real scarcity. But then when we got closer to the button, we got one, two scarcities right there. And then... No more. Lots of urgency, though. But that's for this promo, those two are piling it on for scarcity. One thing that I saw they did not do, this was a really different offer section than, I, I, than I'm used to seeing. And maybe it's because I don't uh, break down enough Oxford Club promos. But they didn't use much teaming language. I thought they were about to start talking about teaming. And uh, I can't remember where it was that I saw that. I think it was like right around here where I thought we were going to say, join us. I thought they were going to start using the, let me go ahead and mark it down here. Not much team ing language. Shoot. Us, right? You had this whole thing set up with Wall Street and institutions being in cahoots, and I think there was a there was an opportunity there to talk about um, us versus them, right? Say these guys have been keeping us out for long enough. Now I'm taking a stand for us and my momentum subscribers so that we can turn the tables on them. I think there was an opportunity there to do that. Uh, there's one other thing. Let's go to the credibility section, which came super early in this promo. I guess that's like the only time they actually establish much cred. 
except for that one other section, which is really unique, where they just put three quotes in the middle of the promo. Um, so there's a bribe. Here's a credibility. Uh, David's been spending a lot of time, <clears throat> and then he interviewed some people. And this is this might be the biggest profit opportunity he's ever uncovered. And that was like it. There's no us versus them. We didn't get one of those rag to riches stories with this guy. We didn't hear about how he grew up in middle class or lower class or how he worked on a farm and his daddy was a plumber or anything like that. This is like, I, I interviewed four guys. <laughs> now buy my service. Um, so maybe that's, maybe that's an opportunity there. Um, let's see where that one credibility section was. How did I, uh, where was that? I think we've gone too far. Honestly, the teaming language would personally, parentheses, I'm not the target audience, end parentheses, turn me off from this quickly. The opportunistic aspect, if you want in, pay up and make money, is more appealing. I don't know. I understand. I don't understand why that would be more appealing than... Like, every promo right now is running the language in the offer section. Uh, heavy, heavy about, this is not just a trading service. This is a team, and I only want the best people to join, and I want them to be the smartest people. So they really qualify the reader heavily in the offer section. Uh, the current successful promos, they really qualify the reader heavily and then ask them, will you... Basically, like, you could be a member of this team. It's something that's very popular right now. This promo is an older promo. <clears throat> I'm not sure when it went out. I've had it in my swipe file for a pretty long time. And uh, it's just kind of been sitting there. Right now, I'm kind of like mad at myself because I can't find this one stupid section where they just had a bunch of quotes. Right, so I'm a millennial, cynical, and I associ associate join us with Darth Vader. Hmm. Is, uh, is that right? I don't know, man. I guess it could go either way. Here it is, the authority proof. This is the only other time we really got any credibility, and it's from outside credibility. Which is when they started just throwing in us other people saying that this works, why it works. Never says why it works. They just say, these people just say it does work. Um, So yeah, they, they say it's a leading indicator of the stock market has a profound impact on stock prices right here. And it uh, still doesn't explain why it works. It just says that it does. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, yeah, and as far as that whole thing of like, you don't want to be asked to join a team, that might be an antisocial sort of millennial thing. Uh, the, the point I would make is that I would test it. I can't tell you you're wrong. I don't know. Uh, I'd let the market tell us if one way... I won't say right or wrong. I won't say the market will not tell us if one is right and one is wrong. But the market may tell us that one is more appealing than the other. Neither one is necessarily right or wrong. And I think that is kind of the beauty of copy. And anyone... I see it too much where... Where people are way too absolute. That's some, you want some Star Wars references? Only the Sith deal in absolutes? That's what Yoda said. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's absolute, right? But uh, I think that's... If you, if you find a copywriter who tells you that you're dead wrong about something, or I think it's kind of in the, in the middle, kind of gray area like that, and that's probably not a guy who's 
tried any uh, any sort of like new ideas. He might be a Me Too copywriter, which actually Me Too nowadays means something completely different than what I just meant, or you're just copying what is already working is what I meant. Uh, so I think I'm done. Any other questions? Spectators, lurkers. Oh yeah, the alarm just went off, so subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to my email list, and if you want this swipe file, there's a link in the description. If you want this swipe file in your in your uh, in in your email, find the link in the description to it. And if you want me to review your copy, there's a link to that in the description as well. And then finally, um, I don't think I have any other things to pitch. Share this on your Facebook. I need to get the word out there. Or share it to Reddit. Share it to Reddit. If I put it on Reddit, they take it down immediately. And I think it's because they think it's self-promotion. But maybe if somebody else posts it, they won't snatch it down. Say, so yeah, I found this really cool thing. That'd be cool. All right, anyway, uh, speaking of split tests, how many different variations were there on these? Heat seekers, dark trades, etc. I don't know. And the reason I don't know is like fourfold. We'll start with the biggest reasons. I don't work for either of those companies. So Heat Seekers was a money map promo. And this Dark Trades is with Oxford Club. Uh, I and Agora Financial is not a part of those two divisions of the Agora companies. Uh, so I wouldn't know. And as far as I've seen on Heat Seekers, there's only been one version. And they're just running it to death. The I'm a redneck, whiskey drinking, baseball loving guy. Uh, this is a pretty old promo, so I'm not exactly sure. Sometimes they put the date. Boom, there it is. 2016. So this is how copy used to probably look. A lot of it's still the same, but a lot of it's different. Especially the offer section is way different than what's going on right now. Uh, any other questions? Anything you want me to cover at all before I get off the uh, live stream? Two hours and 21 minutes. Uh, these are generally going about this length, two hours, 20 minutes. I'd like to try to cut them back somehow. I don't know how, but uh, it is what it is, right? All right, cool. Any other questions going once? Any other questions going twice? Share this to Reddit. Any other questions going three times? Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Uh, <laughs> All right, great. Well, thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. I always forget how to stop this stream. Here it is. All right, bye, for real.